Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugio and welcome. So a couple of weeks ago I did a video called a Weckle Lick on a Bebop Kit and so this lesson I thought I'd do a Vinnie Colaiuta Lick on a Bebop Kit. So um, this is my Bebop Drum Kit, it's a 1950s uh, round badge Gretsch that I bought just recently which I'm really enjoying and um, for those of you who are interested I did an unboxing video on this so I'll, I'll leave a link to that video in the description underneath. So this Vinnie Colaiuta lick that I'm talking about appears in a drum solo that he plays on his solo album on the track Slink. And um, the track itself is almost, uh, well I would say it's kind of paying homage to Tony Williams and Tony Williams' lifetime. And, and the, the, the style of song is really very much in that Tony Williams' lifetime sort of early 70s fusion-esque and with Vinny's incredible slant on that. So um, it's, no, it's no secret that Vinny is massively influenced by Tony Williams. And this particular lick does very much sound like a, a Tony Williams lick. So I'm gonna break this lick down for you. It's a little hard to teach, so I'll do my best and hopefully I can convey exactly what it is you need to know in order to be able to play this lick. In addition to that, there is a, a PDF that you can download that will hopefully sort of take some of the mystery out of this lick as well. So I'm gonna leave a link to the download for that PDF also in the description below this video. So this particular lick is made up of five beats of triplets. So it's a five beat cycle played as triplets. There are two downbeat accents and there are two upbeat accents. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play triplets with those accents or with that accent pattern so that you can hear where those accents fall within that bar of 5-4. For the time being I'm just going to play single sticking you know right left right left right left right left so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now single strokes are not the sticking that I believe Vinnie would have used and what I'm going to teach you are three components that make up this fill that include flams and you know this may be close to the sticking that Vinnie uses to uh, facilitate this particular lick. So in order to learn this we need to learn three different stickings, a three note grouping, a four note grouping and a five note grouping all with a flam at the start. So let's start with the three note grouping. The three note grouping is basically a flam accent rudiment, you know, right, left, right, left, right, left with a, with a flam at the start of each triplet. However, we're only using the left side of that. So the sticking is left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left with a flam on the first left. I'm gonna count this as a bar of four, four as triplets. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Okay, so the next component or the next grouping is a four note grouping and I will also say that the sticking for this is the left side of a flam paradiddle. So it'll be left, right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, left, with a flam on that first left of every four strokes. I'm also going to count this as triplets. So what you'll hear is a group of three across a bar of four, four. Anyway, that'll sound like this. I'll give you a bar of four, four in triplets. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And then the final pattern is a group of five. And the sticking is left, right, right, left, 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 right, right, left, 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 right, right, left, left, with a flam on the first left. 
I'll play this for you. I'm going to count a bar of five because this will resolve after five beats of um, triplets. And uh, I'll give you a bar of five in. Here we go. One, two, three, and a four, and a five, and a. That one's a hard one to play, but if you can think of it as, you know, just three notes per side, you know, three left hand strokes and three right hand strokes, and then there's an overlap where that flam occurs. So um, that might help you kind of visualize this particular pattern. Otherwise, you can just think of it as left, right, right, left, 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 right, right, left, left. That's a hard one to learn, and I would suggest that that's probably the one you might need to spend more time with. So now let's get back to this fill that Vinny plays in this song. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put these groupings together so that we can facilitate two downbeat accents and two upbeat accents. So the accents would be one, two, three, a four, a five. One, two, three, a four, a five. So what we'll do is we'll uh, construct this fill as being a group of three, a group of five, a group of three, a group of four. So we've got a group of three. The group of five allows the next accent to be on the upbeat. Then we play a group of three, and then the group of four, which will also start on the upbeat, will facilitate being able to then play the next accent on the downbeat. So three, five, three, four. If you add those numbers up, it equals 15, and that's exactly how many strokes we have in this bar of 5-4. So let me put this together for you slowly. 3, 5, 3, 4. 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 3 and uh, 4 and uh, 5 and... Uh That's it, that's the fill. So take your time with it, learn those three components, you know, the three, four and five note groupings, learn those, get comfortable with those stickings because they're not easy. I don't know that a lot of stuff that Vinny plays on this level is ever easy. Um, but I'm gonna take the tempo up just a little and then I will um, orchestrate it. So in terms of orchestrations, it's really the right hand um, uh, which will move around. And the right hand's actually playing the flam. So we're now treating that grace note as an accent and we're gonna orchestrate that accent or that grace note around the kit. So, you know, the first uh, and obvious orchestration would be to move the right hand to the first tom here. One, two, three, four, five. You can also play it on the floor tom. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can play it uh, between the right cymbal and snare drum. Again, just moving that right hand grace note, which is now accented to the ride cymbal. One, two, three, four, five. So anyway, that's the lick. There are your orchestration options. And now what we want to be able to do is play this across, um, you know, 4-4. Four, four. So before you do that, as I mentioned in the previous video when I talked about the Dave Weckl lick on a bebop kit, the idea is to get comfortable with playing the pattern while playing every second quarter note with the hi-hat foot. So let me give you an example of that. Uh, I'm going to count it in five. You'll hear the hi-hat foot playing every second quarter note. One, two, three, four, five. So 
that's just a good coordination exercise because when we play this across two bars of 4-4, which we're about to do, it's, it's really important to be able to keep that hi-hat going on two and four of, 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 of the fill um, while you're playing this pattern in five. So let's play this pattern across two bars of 4-4. Now, this pattern's in 5-4, so we're not going to get to play it twice completely. We're, we're going to play five beats and then I guess another three beats to make up the eight beats that we need to play two bars of 4-4. Four, four. So that's going to sound like this. I'm going to play this across two bars of 4-4 four, four, and I'm going to count a bar of 4-4 four, four in. Here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. So what I did there is I came out on the upbeat. So let me play this in context, two bars of time, two bars of this fill, and I'll orchestrate the right hand on this tom. One, two, one, two, three, four. I'll take the tempo up a little bit, I'll do that again and I'll try a few other orchestrations. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. If you want to come out on the downbeat, you just add an extra kick to the end of the bar so you'll get this. A one, two, three, four. So once this begins to feel comfortable to you and where you don't have to think about the counting, you can just relate to it in 4-4, four, four. then the idea is to practice it across four bars of 4-4. Four, four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play four bars of time, and then I'll play this fill for four bars of 4-4. Four, four. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. It's a really hip sounding lick. I'm gonna do another video on this in the future where we kind of expand upon this idea and create other groupings, uh, or at least groupings other than 5-4. Once we understand a concept, we can really expand on this idea. So stay tuned for that video. Now, one of the things you may have heard is that when I play this, I tend to accent the left hand and play that as a rim shot. So when I do that, that just makes the whole thing a little harder. So I like the sound of the rim shot. It just sort of fattens up the, the overall sound and certainly fattens up the sound of the flam. But it just takes a little bit of extra work and as you can hear, I'm a little inconsistent with it. So that's still a work in progress for me. Um, but it does sound great. So it's really just getting this getting that sound going. So work on that, that's a, that's a great thing to do. So once you've played this for a little while and it starts to feel comfortable to you, then the next obvious step is to just improvise, you know, playing solos or just playing around the drums and trying to get this lick to come out, just trying to 
see if this pattern starts to emerge as part of your vocabulary. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm just going to play around the drums a little bit and let's see what happens. I'll do a, a slow version just to be safe. So there you have it, there's the Vinny Lick on a Bebop kit and I think it works really beautifully on a kit that sounds this way too. I mean especially considering Vinny's influence from the great Tony Williams. Like I said it's a little difficult to understand but the PDF will definitely make it a little easier. I've got all those examples written out so if you want to check that PDF out and you want to download it, there's a link to the download in the description below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you will know when I've uploaded a video which is every week. So until next week, have a great week, have fun and uh, see you all soon. Bye. Oh, don't need to worry about that. Um, next, what are we doing next? What's next kids? Uh, next.